Hello, seven graders. We are going to talk about tracheal and the cutaneous respiration. Types of respiration in aerial medium. As we said before, there are three types of respiration in aerial medium. The pulmonary respiration by the lungs. All mammals, the type of respiration of all, all mammals is pulmonary because they breathe using the lungs. The tracheal respiration by the trachea, the grasshopper, or and other insects, terrestrial insects use the uh, trachea to respire with. And also the cutaneous respiration by the skin, the earthworm and the frog uses the skin to breathe with. Cutaneous respiration. The earthworm does not have lung, Le yet it breathes. You look for earthworms in humid soil, under stones, and in the garden's mud. Here, there are earthworms inside the soil. The earthworms dig tunnels in the soil and they act as decomposers. They transform the dead animals and the plants into soil matter. They live in the soil and they breathe using their humid skin. The earthworm uses its humid skin to breathe with. The gaseous exchange takes place at the level of the skin. The earthworm's skin is thin and humid. If the skin of the earthworm gets dry, the earthworm dies. The skin of the earthworm must remain humid. Here, the air gets entered the body of the earthworm by the skin. Did you know that the earthworm has five hearts? Tracheal respiration. The organ of respiration is trachea. Animals that use a trachea to respire are insects like the grasshopper, the bee, and the ant. These three insects respire using the trachea. Characteristics of the trachea that facilitate the gas exchange. The thin wall of the trachea facilitate the gas exchange, also the large surface area. Look here in the white color, this is the trachea inside the body of the grasshopper. Gaseous exchange at the level of the trachea. First, during inhalation, oxygen gas enters the trachea through the anterior spiracles. Then, oxygen gas is carried directly into the organ cells through the tracheals. The organ or the cell consume oxygen gas and release carbon dioxide gas into the trachea. Carbon dioxide gas is released outside the body through the posterior spiracles. Trachea is the plural of trachea. Let's see together. Part of the oxygen gas is stored in the air sacs. Look at the picture, please. Here are the anterior spiracles. Oxygen gas enters through the anterior spiracles into the trachea. Oxygen gas passes through the trachea into the tracheals then into the body organs. The body organs or the body cells consume the oxygen gas and reject the carbon dioxide gas, which will return back into the tracheals, then into the trachea, and then carbon dioxide gas is rejected outside the body through the posterior spiracles. These are the posterior spiracles. Also, the air sacs here are used to store the air. Definitions. Spiracles are breathing holes or opening visible on the body of all insects and are responsible for breathing. We have two kinds of spiracles, the anterior one and the posterior one. Tracheals are very fine tubes that make up a part of the respiratory system of insects and allow the passage of oxygen gas from the trachea into the organs or the cell and carbon dioxide from the organs or the cell into the trachea. 
inhalation and exhalation in a grasshopper. During inhalation, look at document A. Air enters through the anterior spiracles. Here are the anterior spiracles. The muscles of the abdomen relax. The abdomen is expanded or inflated. And air enters through the grasshopper's body. During exhalation, look at document B. Air gets outside the posterior spiracles. These are the posterior spiracles. The muscles of the abdomen contract. The abdomen is compressed or deflated. We can say also lifted upward. Respiratory rhythm of a grasshopper is the number of successive movement of inflation, expansion, and deflation, compression of the abdomen per minute. It's the number of respiratory movements per minute. Thank you.